What's up guys? Today we are gonna do a quick little battery swap on the G37 sedan. We've got it ready right here. One of our more popular vehicles. Yes, indeed. Um, just kind of giving you guys a little update on it. Normally um, I don't think we would do this, but like on this car, the positioning of the battery is a little not fun. Yeah, otherwise, I mean, if it was just a regular battery swap, it'd be like, lift the tie down, disconnect the battery, put a new battery in, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But this isn't a bit of a poor position. Yeah, which we'll take so a look at here. we're just gonna show you guys in case you're looking and you don't wanna wreck your stuff. You'd obviously pop up the lid to the battery cover. This battery is four and a half years old. It's got a little bit of life left, but just be a good idea to pop it out. Yeah, I didn't realize that the actual, you know, the bolt and everything are yeah, exactly. under all this fun stuff. So I believe it's just five fender clips. Which that, I have a flathead here for. Yes. So including this front one? Uh, maybe six. Might, I might be counting well, Let's six. go ahead and pull them out. I'll put them in the pocket. Or it might be the inner piece, huh? I haven't done this. I haven't done this for four and a half years, so. Yeah, I haven't had Last to do it in a while. This was in July of 2017. Which has been, let's just call it a minute. Yeah. There's still some fancy clip pliers I want to get. Yeah. That are like two little flatheads almost that just like pinch. Set everything almost. Or is there more? Uh, it might just be this guy right here. Oh, fuck I think that's it. Let's see if we can turn that and pop it out. There we go. And there we go. Bingo. Are. So I'm going to go ahead and just gently set this yeah, right there. Fine. Okay. So now we're going to have to get access to, uh, is this a single type where it just uh, flips? The tie down? Yeah. Um, it's been a while since you've done it, so. It's, it's, there's two rods. Okay. Yeah. Should we lift the entire windshield there, one sec. piece as well? Yeah, there's two. There's one way back there. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should lift the windshield. Um, uh, right? The cowling. Cowl. Yeah, let's see if we can get it out of the way without too much work. You know what I mean? There's a little clip right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured the long screwdriver was going to be a bit silly, but it works out pretty nice. Yes, it there. does. Oh, look, look. There you go. Great. Just got to pull that stripping out of the way. Right there. Yeah, right, right. There we go. So it slides forward. So we didn't do this the whole time. We um, definitely tried to skip some steps. We tried to not take the uh, but, cowl out. Uh, it turns out that all you really need to do is slide that piece of forward forward it doesn't pull up it felt like because when i was trying to pull it up it felt like there was definitely stuff i was concerned that in. there were clips that we were going to break very much like a rear bumper clip i was just yeah that but like now that we know you pull forward you pop the little clips out that we did take out and then this guy pops up to yeah, just a small little thumb tabby yeah just a little tab there and then it slides forward yeah. like just literally flat plane forward yeah and that gives you all the access you'd ever need yep uh we tried to skip that don't do that it doesn't work yeah and also it's just like really easy actually to it just... was much easier to just figure it out and just pull it forward yeah and so, so now we're gonna go ahead and slaughter battery in here and uh put this guy back together now we just need to get the other rod in yep now we have our other little they're called j-rods J-Rod. I have a bolt somewhere in my pocket. I grabbed everything but the one. <laughs> nice. Usually how it goes, you know? Yep. There it is. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this guy down. Hook it on the bottom of the tray. So there's literally just a little hole there. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop this back up. Slot the rod through, like so. Put our nut back on. One. Go 
And then we're gonna hold the rod up. Otherwise you could actually drop it out of the little J hole at the bottom. For sure. I've done that a lot of times on the Integra. Yeah. You don't need to tighten the hell out of it, just make sure it's on there, it's not gonna move on you. And then get your other one in. Okay, there we go. And we are in. Yes, indeed. Now it's time to reassemble all the fun stuff. Yes, indeed. So, uh, quick thing, make sure you pull these off. You know, these little... <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the memes? No. Where people try to connect it over the the yeah someone covers. will be like oh i replaced the battery and my car doesn't start anymore and oh they still have gosh. these little caps and go so make sure you put your little protective covers yeah. off yeah otherwise your maybe car won't do anything. maybe you shouldn't be replacing a battery if... your car won't be easy <laughs> <laughs> well no you know learning learning's fine but yeah. like yeah if you're watching this to learn you have learned yeah take these off okay so okay, well, not do you any... this is the piece in question as you can see it just slides there's no like there's not even a clip just the one so go ahead and slot this back into place like that let's do this okay get this guy back in place there we go okay so this one you do got to pull up on the wiper a little bit create some clearance there and let's go ahead and if you want to get over there and uh help guide that side yeah so this uh, I think you need to lift your side a little bit yeah lift lift your side and bring it close to the yep yep now you should get yep bingo so now and push in I, I'm in push in more you see that dust there you go there now go. you're in now let's get that tucked and down out of the way and we just the cow gotta... piece which we should have just taken out from the beginning yep is back so we just have to um as you can see, it's all just lines up right here. That should be fine and dandy and matches the other side. Or does it go under? Mm -hmm. I think it does not go under. No, it goes on top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're good there. This clip is shut. Yep. So now it's just a matter of clips. So now we have we to reassemble all the fun stuff. We removed this, even though we didn't need to. So we'll pop that back in place. Very easy, no big deal. Yep. Careful there. All right. And so I've already put the fuse box back in on this little clip here. I've already slipped this guy back in place because yep. that gave us a little bit of extra clearance. So now this guy goes in and it does sit on top. Yep. So we just got to kind of maneuver it like that. There Perfect. We go. I'm going to grab all the clips set. I put on the floor. And then we just have to put this, this is the seal for the for the hood. Yeah, for the hood. Okay. These look to all be the same. Except so, the one. I you already I did the one. Yep. So and the rest otherwise... all look to be the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and start getting some clips in. A couple of the centers fell out. No big deal. Just guide the little clip over that way just to here. When they're broken, like these are, sometimes it's a little more work. There we go. Get our center pin, slot it in, remove foliage from engine bay. Foliage, foliage is, is not key. a part of engine bay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and hold both sides here. So we can get the clip all the way in. There we go. I think there's a piece here. Right here. That needs to align more. Put our last little broke clip guy. Right through there. And then, what I like to do, uh, well, first off, actually, before we get there, when you're taking a battery off, take your negative off first, then take your positive off. When you're yep. putting a battery on, put your positive on first, then put your positive on last. Yes, indeed. 
The reason is negative on last. Batteries, yeah, negative on last. Negative off first, negative on last. Batteries can explode. They emit fumes, really terrible fumes. And if they explode, they're gonna throw battery acid in your face and you'll be more disfigured than I already am. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's good. And again, same with these terminal connectors. Please don't over tighten them. They don't need to be immensely tight, just just enough to keep snug it. it up. And as long as when they're snugged up, you can't move it by doing that, you're good. Yep. Uh, if you have an alarm, you may want to have your key handy because it's probably going to set an alarm off if you do. Uh, I haven't had, had an issue. Okay, great. Here we go. Come on. Now, I'm actually gonna take this guy back off. Some of the stuff I like to use is ah, some right. battery terminal protectant. It basically helps, you know, all the white foam battery acid you'll see on positive terminals. Um, normally I would clean these off with a battery brush. These are already relatively clean. This is literally just like a spray paint though. So just spray it over, spray it over. And now, now it'll help. Now how will I know which one's my negative? Well, that has a big red piece on it. I think you'll figure it out. What? Just oh. kidding. Well, I mean, live your life. <laughs> but like, you know. So there you go. Spray some of that on there. Bingo. Get your little. Now we just gotta get her back on. Cover back on. Pop, pop. There you go. And we're done. We're done. So close the hood. Turn the car on. Try it out. Woo, that's healthy. Yeah. And now the car works again. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. So, like I said, new cars, a little bit more. A little bit more work. work. Like if you look yeah. at like uh, old Integra's. It's just the battery Civics. tie down and the connections. Yeah, it was oh nothing, gosh, there's so nothing easy. to cover it. Yeah. Uh, they do this type of stuff to prevent people from working on their own car. But it's really not that bad. It's a little more work. As, yeah. as we tried to skip steps, but honestly, don't. we would have been done way faster if we had just yeah. done it in the um, first place. And it really is easy to remove that windshield cowling. So it was. Do yourself a favor though, before you go to replace your battery, take a look. There are some cars with the batteries mounted like here in the bumper. It may not be worth it for you to try it yourself. Yeah, it may be a situation where like you could be pulling off a lot of panels to get to it, and that is the case with some some newer vehicles. Yeah. So definitely take a look real quick, you know, uh, owner's manual, whatever, at where your battery is um, and kind of make the decision for yourself on if it's something that you really want to tackle or not. Yep. Like I said, this is fine. It's not too big a deal. It's definitely new car stuff where they put a bunch of covers over it. Yeah. Uh, but again, not a big deal. It wasn't hidden in the bumper. If it was hidden in the bumper, I'd have been like, that's nice, go. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then I would have still done it, but you know. <laughs> well. Uh, that's gonna do it for our uh, battery replacement video. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty helpful information, but let us know what you guys think. If you like the video, let us know in the comments down below. And if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys.